Alright, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. We're back with another video. And this video is entitled Jewish Slave Ship Owners. We're going to put De De Deuteronomy 2868 to the test and see who this is talking about. Is it talking about these white Ashkenaz Jewish devils? Talking about they're the people of the book, they're God chosen people. Now, when I typed in on YouTube here, White Europeans on cargo slave ships. Let's see what popped up. What images popped up? All I see are, are black people. Yokes are iron upon our necks. Huh? Where you at, white people? I don't see you. Negroes of sale. It says you'll be sold into your enemies. For bond men and bond women. The most high says he's gonna scatter us to the four corners of the earth. Where you at? I don't see you. These are all Negroes. Huh? Now, here are the here's your Jewish slave ship owners. Aaron Lopez, Moses LeVay, Jacob Franks, name of the ship, Abigail, ethnicity, Jews. Owners, Isaac LeVay and Nathan Simpson, name of the ship, Crown, ethnicity, Jews. All of these Jew Jewish people were slave ship owners. Now, in the book that I have here, it's entitled, uh, The Secret Relationship Between Blacks and Jews. Because the same information I'm reading now on the website is in this book. Jewish people had households in Savannah and the vicinity. They had a census in the 1830s. And they give you a chart. So let's go to the chart. Head of household, A.D. Abrams, or Abrams, slave. Male, six years old. Slave, females, three years old. I mean, I'm sorry. These are the number of blacks, slaves. Six males, three females. Here are the names. We exposing you Jewish people. Well, I am. That's just one chart. Now, let's go over here. to the census of 1830s provides official data on the slave holdings of Philadelphia Jews. Jewish heads of households in Philadelphia, census of 1830. These are your own Jewish people. We're telling them on y'all asses. Head of household, Sarah Andrews. Number of black slaves, one female, one male. Do you see this? Where's my camera to focus? See that? Let's keep on going. We're not done yet. I'm just giving you a breakdown. I'm giving a breakdown on what I want these these Ashkenaz Jewish people did. You have a, a census data of Jews and black slaves. The following tables have been published by Jewish scholars who have researched and analyzed the available population data. Though uh, these 1930, 19, uh, 1790 census figures are included because they are the only official data available. See that? 73 Jewish heads of households have been identified as Jewish. Of these, at least 34 owned one or more slaves to a total of 151 slaves. The only large holdings of slaves were possessed by Jacob Jacobs of Charleston and Abraham Cohen, Solomon Cohen, Esther Myers, all of the Georgetown district. Many families did not 
participate in this census and still more would not have more would not have revealed their identity as slave workers or as Jews, having emerged so richly from the era of inquisitions. Area New England of Jewish heads household twenty three. Jewish holders, five. Slaves, 20, 21 slaves. Area, New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland. New York had 20 slave holders, 20 Jewish slave holders. And 60 Jewish, Jewish heads of households. Let's keep on going. You know, we have them in Florida, Georgia, Indiana. Illinois, Kentucky, Maryland, Mississippi, Missouri. It says Malcolm Stern published some additions and corrections to Rosen uh, uh, Wilkes of Walkie's analysis, which included a slave count. See Malcolm H. Stern. Quote, some addition and correction to Rosen Walker's an estimate and analysis of the Jewish population of the United States in, in 1790. Okay, so you have here Jewish location. I mean, it says Jews, the location. Newport, Rhode Island. Sarah Lopez, number slaves, six. Abraham Rivera, number slaves, four. Moses, uh, sexiest. Number of slaves, six. Boston, Massachusetts. New York, New York. Bedford, Bedford, New York. How come no one is talking about this stuff? No one's talking about, nobody's talking about this stuff. Why not? Are we just supposed to brush this shit up under the rug? I'm not brushing nothing up under the rug. You all can do it, but you all too pussy back. I'm not brushing nothing from the road. Okay, so let's go here. Okay. Second Israel. There was something else I wanted to bring out. See these these curses do not fit any race of people except for the Negro. That's been scattered all throughout the four corners of the earth. We in London, we in Japan, we in China. We're in Russia. We're in Italy. We all we all over. We are all over. A list of inhabitants in and about the town of St. Michael's with their children hired servants, apprentices, bought servants and Negroes. Why is it always Negroes? What is so special about the Negro? If you all say we are, you say we are three fifths, three fifths humans, and, and we are dumbasses, and 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 you call us boy and all that stuff. Jews, do the names of the Jews who were involved in this, and here are the number of slaves that you all had. See that? I'm bringing out facts, people. Facts. I'm not. I have not said anything racist towards any other race. I mean, there's only two colors on the face of this earth that that we, the human, the human, uh, uh, the human brain goes by. That's black and white. That's what we are accustomed to. <clears throat> when we see someone who's who's another complexion of, of our own, like me, since I'm a black person or brown person, and I see someone who's not my complexion that's white, what do I call him? A white person.
us. What do we say? White people. So, I'm not saying anything racist. I'm just pointing out what history says. But but you wanna but YouTube you wanna you wanna deem and sanction me you wanna you wanna censor my videos you wanna censor my videos and and say I'm promoting race hate but it was all fine and dandy when uh our, my ancestors were being enslaved by you all and you all you all were fine and dandy with that. As soon as we start talking, bringing this truth out, you want to censor my videos. You hypocrites. They watching our, they watch our videos. They know what we're saying is true. Now, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, so you have Negroes for sale, right? So they, they sold they sold us. Now let me go to this site right here. I wanted to wait. Uh, I might probably upload the video tomorrow on showing where white people come from. Uh, over. Let's see. This is an interesting, this is a good website you can check out. It's entitled Truth Over Tradition. I have this guy's book on Kindle, and it should be in the mail by tomorrow. Now, once again, we're going to go here to undeniable historical proof that black Americans are the biblical Israelites. We're the people of the Bible, the book, that everyone has in their home. Now, but this, is the, this is the biggest conspiracy known worldwide. You have a whole race of people that's walking around like some damn zombies. Don't know who they are, where we come from. Everyone else can trace their ancestors and their origins. But when you ask the black American, the black, the black, the black African American, where you come from, you say Africa. Okay, you, okay. So where in Africa do you come from? Africa is just a continent. What country in Africa do you come from? Nigeria? Uganda? Where? Now, let's go here. Let me click on this. And there's something I want to read to you again. Okay. See, the thing is, people, we don't want to believe what's being written in a book about us when, it pertains to, when it's pertaining towards us. Because we think it's bullshit. Now, let me read to you this. It says, do to the large success of these Jews in Africa, they became a target of European Christians who sought for ways to colonize their kingdoms and exploit their labors. According to, Jan according to George Francis Dow, in his work Slave Ships and Slaving, he, quote, he says, it was the Moors, Muslims. So who were the Moors and Muslims? Moors were the black Arabs. That's who your Esau is. It was the Moors, the Muslims, who told the Portuguese. Who were the Portuguese? The Portuguese are your white people. White Jewish people. Who told the Portuguese of black-skinned people, Jews, Hebrews, living in great numbers to the south of the desert. It says, a race cursed of God and predestined slaves. Mr. Dow's statement informs us that it was the Muslims who told the Portuguese that there, was, that there were a specific group of black people living in West Africa that were predestined to be slaves. Why did the Muslims make this statement? 
It says because they were the descent, they were the they were descendants of Ishmael and Esau. So this is more confirmation. Esau is not the white man. Esau is your Arab. Because your Arab is your is your is your uh, uh, indigenous Muslim more, and the religion that they follow is Islam, and they were trying to convert the Hebrews from following the Torah to following the the religion of Islam, and it was a it was a nation of it was the uh, uh, the Muslim. Uh, sub Saharan set, uh, slave trade that first started off in this time junction era. We'll say, uh, I don't have the time frame right now. Let me see, let me type it in. The Sub Saharan tra slave trade. Sub. Let me see when this took place. Because we go, it goes even further back. We've been a slave since the beginning. We have been a slave since, 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 uh, you have the Assyrian captivity, the Assyrian and Babylonian captivity. You have the Persian captivity. You have the uh, uh, Greek, uh, Greek. I mean the, the Roman captivity. Okay, we've been a slave since the beginning of time, and we have a, and we had a land. We have a land entitled Negro Land. Called the Kingdom of Judah, Negro Land. So who, so who did, so who is called Negroes today that you know about? Be honest with yourself. Who in the who in the world that you know are called Negroes? You're black people. It's black people. So we have a place called Negro Land, and it says here that as a result. In the 1400s, the Portuguese began establishing trade routes throughout Western Africa so they could get rich from the slave trade like the Muslims were doing in North and East Africa. See that? It's interesting to note that the regions of Africa where the Portuguese established colonies and trading posts at were the same exact regions where the Jews lived, the Hebrews. For instance, in the Western Sudan region, a West, a West Africa, where the Jew, where all the Jew, all of the Jews live, the Portuguese labeled this region as Negro Land and Guinea, both meaning land of the blacks. More interesting than that is the fact that old Portuguese maps of this region during the 1700s had the labels Kingdom of Judah, Judah written on the area where the slaves were sold. Judah represents the Hebrew tribe of Judah, which are the biblical Jews. This proves the fact that the Portuguese knew that the West Africans were the biblical Jews, and that is the reason they captured and enslaved them as opposed to the other African tribes around them. So it says Negro land. So if you have Negro land, and you have your everyday African American Negro you see every day, then this is more proof of confirmation that we are the biblical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We don't, we don't have to even do a DNA test. We're just going off what's been written documented as history. This is your birthright. This is your birthright. How can you, how can you deny something like that? I was a big denier of it. But I'm proud to be a Negro. But that's not who I am. That's a label that's been placed upon us. But we are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. We represent a power that other people wish they can represent. But that title has not been bestowed upon any other race of people except for the Negro. Not just in America, all across the face of the earth. If you are listening to this video on the other side of the face of the earth, you are London or South America. Hear me good and clear. We are the, if you have a Bible, that is your history book. You don't, need, you don't need any other history book. You don't need to know about any other uh, 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 history except your own. 
and that you are a Hebrew Israelite. You come from the loins, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you represent the, the greatest power ever. The power is the most high God of Israel. That power is the power that created the, the, the universe. Everything you see that's walking and breathing on the face of the earth. You represent that power. You Negroes, you niggas, and your Savior and Redeemer is a Negro. And we are too ignorant and too dumb to realize it. And then we have these white supremacists, these white, white racist hate groups, when we tell them that we are the descendants of the Bible, they want to deny it. They want to, they want to pick and pull scriptures and say, oh no, the, the, the Hebrews wasn't white. I mean, the Hebrews wasn't black, they were white. But how is that possible? How is that possible? If, if that's the case, why is it that when you look at these pictures of, these, of, the, uh, of the slave trade, why is it nothing but black people? When these people were enslaving our people, when they were taking these pictures, like, like for instance right here, when they were taking these pictures like, like this right here, this is, this is your Muslim in, uh, enslaving Hebrews, Negroes, right? It says, Yoruba enslavement of African ancestors. Major, okay, so let's go here. Let's go back. And it says here, to be sold on board ships on Tuesday, 6th of May. It says, Negroes just arrived from the Wentworth and Rice uh, 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 craft. Or whatever. And it says that the utmost care has already been taken and and shall be continued to keep them from the least danger of, of being infected with smallpox. No boat having been on board. So who has smallpox? Well, if you read this book right here, the black Jews and the black the secret relationship between blacks and Jews, it tells you who has small smallpox. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It tells you. It's these white people. These Gentiles. But when I tell you who your father is, you're really going to be pissed off at me. Because I think I might want to just upload the video right now. I don't want to wait. You're gonna you're gonna be mad at me, but the information is already out. I mean, I'm not saying anything that's new. No, in this section, it says Jews are smallpox. Sir Sir Jeffrey Amherst, the genocidal commander in chief of His Maj uh, Majesty forces in North America, came in 1758 to fight the French, after gaining a solid reputation as a British officer in Germany and war. In the War of Austria's uh, secessions, one of his responsibilities in his new position was to was to annihilate the Indian population, and it was he who convinced the strategy to spread smallpox among them by the way of infected gift blankets. You see that? Do you hear what I just read? These white people had smallpox. They were infected. And when I tell you who your father is, who, who created you in their image, in likeness, you're gonna be mad. But I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna point out what the what the what's been documented as history. And you're gonna find out why they took it out the book of Enoch. The people say, oh, they took the book of Enoch out the Bible, right? And they say, uh, because these uh what happened with the with the fallen angels and things like that. And they also talk about, uh, they say Satan is the one who God threw out of heaven, kicked out of heaven. But Satan just means adversary. So we need to know what, what's, what fallen angel was the leader who got kicked out and who were the rest who followed after him. So if you read, that's why I need to get you a, 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 a there's a Bible that I call, there's the Bible that I have, it's called the Sefer. And it has the book, the, the missing books of the Bible, 
put back in there. And it tells you that uh, it was a fallen angel by the name of Hillel, right? Who was chief and commander. And his, and his buddies followed right along with him. And they were cast out. And you know how you hear about with the Sumerian story? They say that, that the Sumerians came from out of space or all that shit or whatever. And, and started messing with genes, with the human genes. Started fucking with, with the human genome. Genetic engineering. But that's that's a that's a that's a uh, uh, that's bullshit. Um, what really took place is sexual relationship. That's all it is. Sexual sex, sexual relationship. And when I bring you this information out about uh, where the white people come from, there's gonna be that's not gonna be any more denying it because it's always been about black and white, and it will always continue to be, to be about black and white. And when you all can't admit that the heavenly father, the creator of the heaven and the earth, is black, and the adversary is white, you're not, you're not, you're never going to come to the grips of things. It's always been about black and white. No matter how you, how, no matter how you label it, it's always been about black and white. Good versus evil. You see how this, you see how the, the uh, uh, how the enemy switches things around and say evil. They say black is evil, and black people are cursed. Yes, we are. We are cursed. The Most High God put a curse upon our upon our forefathers because they didn't they didn't hold up the end of the bargain and the covenant they made with him. So he said, "Well, since you all niggas don't want to do what I say, I'm going to put you. I'm going to give you over to your enemies, and they're going to whip y'all ass in shape." So we've been. Our people have been the slaves since the since the beginning. We have been through uh, in, in ancient times. What through six. Slave trades with the Assyrian, Babylonian, Persian, Roman, Greek, Arab. Okay? And then you fast forward today up in, up in, up in modern day times. Portuguese, British, Spaniards. Come on, people. Why are they just enslaving us? Say we're gonna be called a Bible and a proverb, and all that other shit. They call us all kind of names: cook, uh, uh, monkeys and coons, niggas and boy. But they don't want to own to the fact that we're the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. We represent a power that that's that's unlike no other. Whether you want to believe it or not, I didn't believe it. Come on, people. But like I said. You're going to find out, white people, who is your maker. What you're going to find out where you came from. That's why they put these movies out. Called uh, The movie called Prometheus. A uh, brother by the name of G-Dash, he did an excellent breakdown. He did like a six-part a six part video breaking that shit down. And they censored one of his videos, so he had to re-upload it onto another channel. And if you watch his video, his name is G-Dash, G-Dash the Prophet. You watch his videos on that, you will see exactly where they come from. Okay, so I have the book. I have the, I have a book coming in the, in the mail tomorrow. They say they say the same exact thing. But I'm going to read it to you so you can see what I'm what I'm reading. So you can see I'm making this shit up. Okay, and then we're going to play the YouTube clips, and it's going to confirm that where you white people come from. So you are not the original. You're not the original man. You black, brown, Negroes. You are the original man. Because you are made in the Heavenly Father's image. When he dug, when he, when the Heavenly Father took his hands and dug it into this, into this earth, he dug into the dirt. What color is dirt? Brown. Black. Black. And he formed it. See, that's the thing. When I, when I think about creation, when I take that passage, I put a, I, I visualize it in my head. Okay, when he took his hands, and you know how you have a clay. Putty, a clay, like how people make snowmen outside, they make a snowman and they form it with eyes and head, with, with eyes and, and things like that. That's the same thing the creator did. He dug into the earth that he created, formed man, blew his breath inside, became a living being. Point blank, period. Can't get around it. No, no, there's it's nothing else you can say. Okay?
Okay? And up until that point, it was just black people on the face of the earth. Now, with the white people coming in at, you have all these different theories about where they come from. They say, oh, oh the white man is a, is a genetic, is a, uh, is a, they come from black people. Or they say, oh, well, the white people, uh, black people migrated out of Africa and they became white. But we have been living on this face of the earth for, th for thousands of years. So it's people that's been living in different parts of the, uh, 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 in different regions of the earth. They live in cold climate areas and they're still black. So what happened? Something got tainted. Someone, someone started fuck with, 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 with the most high's creation. Who was it? And in my next video, you're going to find out. You're going to find out who messed with the most high's creation. Till then, I'll say shalom to you. Click subscribe. And let's keep on putting this troop out there, no matter who likes it or not. And I'm quite sure YouTube's going to watch this video. And if they censor it, so be it. I'm going to keep on uh, continuing to make videos exposing this shit for what it is. Okay? So this video is entitled uh, Jewish Involvement in the Slave Trade. Jewish Slave Ships. Peace.